Hey there YouTube, it's Jabber here. We're going to be doing a massive opening of Cosmo Blitz. I have 48 loose booster packs here. We're going to be cracking into. Hope to pull some super sweet cards. Uh, don't forget to check me out during the week on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And here we go. We'll just uh, get right into it. I was really lucky that I had a, a two-player uh, Cosmo Blazer playmat for this super awesome opening. I like it when I'm able to have the mat or the actual set. <laughs> I made it a mission. All right, for our pack number one, we're just gonna go from, uh, so we'll work our way through. Oh, cool, we already uh, pulled a super right here. Uh, Brother of the Fire Fist here, there's Synchro. That's cool. 48 packs, so that's two booster boxes, pretty much. These are loose and random, so uh, I don't think there's gonna be much of a ratio here. I uh, would be very pleased to pull a breakthrough skill, preferably an ultimate rare one. I did one of these openings and I did pull one ultimate rare breakthrough skill. Oh cool, another super rare. And I already owned one, so I made two. I'd like to have an even playset of them, which would be super awesome. Oh, a fire formation tanky. a really good uh really good set all the firefish stuff and whatnot one of all better sets and uh crimson blader i think it was a mistake they didn't make this card a foil they should have at least they uh redeemed themselves and they gave it a reprint they had two reprints actually a uh, super rare and a secret rare so that was cool i think they're trying to like redeem themselves from their mistake the card should have been printed as a foil right off the bat with a hazy flame And I will be taking uh, the journey to the, the YCS in Anaheim, which is a very far drive for me. Oh, cool. Pull two of them. Yeah, it's going to be, geez, like nine or ten hours to get there. It's crazy long. So <laughs> I'm going to put the car in uh, cruise control and just hope we don't hit super bad traffic and get there. So that'll be cool. So I'm super looking forward to hopefully meeting some of you fans over there. That'd be uh, great. I love hanging out. Oh, sweet. Well, uh, Brother of the Firefist Bear, Ultra Rare. Cool. Very good indeed. And bear comes as an Ultra Rare too, so 48 packs. Maybe we'll pull another bear. Maybe we'll be an Ultra Rare one. Slacker Magician. That's cool. So after the YCS, win or lose, I'll uh, do a deck profile on my uh, deck and give you guys some updates of how I felt, how I went, and whatnot, how bad, how good. <laughs> I'm uh, going to be playing uh, Satellar Knights at the, at the actual uh, YCS, but of course it's me, so, you know, there's a lot of different things to it. <laughs> I did some weird things to that poor deck. I made it very, uh, very anti-meta-ish. Oh, ZW Leo Arms is our ultra rare. I can never leave a deck just, just the way it's supposed to be. They're like, Jobber, what have you done to that Insector deck? What? I took eight Insector cards and put 32 cards of Jobber in it. <laughs> but no, it makes it fun. I enjoy it. And I could have uh, went down there and, and played one of the other, uh, oh, there's a uh, Tensu and a Crimson Blade. It's actually really good. Common and rare. Um, I mean, I could go down there and play, you know, when everyone else is playing and whatnot, but I like to have fun with it and go down there and enjoy myself. But of course, try to be semi competitive. Especially in a big event like that. I mean, it's crazy long. So I completely understand why people would want to play, uh, you know, the top, those top tier decks. It's just so many rounds, so it'd be really depressing. Cause no, uh, Fire Fist Dragon here. I've seen some guys they they miss top. They're like undefeated, and then they'll lose like round one on the very on the last round of day one, and then they go and uh, 
they play the next day and they lose two in a row after that. So it's like, then they miss their top. That just sucks. Yeah, an ultra rare uh, Leo arms there. This is rambling. But yeah, wish me luck. Hope to come back. Oh, cool, another ultimate rare. <laughs> back to back. Uh, noble arms there. Sweet. So yeah, wish me luck. I hope I uh, hope I do well for you guys. Either way, I'll give you guys a deck profile on the deck after I'm all uh, it's all set and done. Explain my uh, my rounds and how the whole experience was. We meet up with some friends there, so it'll be really cool. We got Tinky there. We got Tensu, all in the same pack. We have pulled a three, six, seven foils so far. We are uh, digging for a breakthrough skill, preferably ultimate rare, but of course, you know, I wouldn't frown upon an, an ultra rare one if we pull one. And I would be very pleased to pull an ultimate rare bear, because I think ultimate rare bear looks really cool. Definitely one of my favorite cards of the set. Alright, we have this big old stack over here. Oh, that's a... I'll, oh yeah, this is a, I think this is one of the cards that they, some of the new decks have been running. Attribute summon monsters you control cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. You cannot spell summon monsters from your extra deck. Yeah, that's a really good card. They're, uh, oh no, they're super rare. Cool. Yeah, they, uh, they're running that attribute basically like for a Manatee's Fiend or a Vanity's Fiend and then activate that. And just makes it so, uh, it can't be targeted and pretty much can't be destroyed. That makes it real rough. I like them to get creative and make different kind of decks like that. Yeah, number 53. Heart Earth there. Cool. Yeah, another Ultra Rare. For the Archer. Go, go! Moving right along. I do think you guys will, in fact, enjoy the deck profile on this Teller Knight deck that I uh, that I put together. It's definitely different. That's for sure. And this set right here is just like all about the Fire Fist stuff, and a whole lot of it. That deck was getting a lot of play for a long time. Oh, cool. Reaper of Prophecy. That's really nice. I'll also have a link below to my uh, Facebook group that I, uh, I have. You guys should check that out. I uh, post my videos on there as well. and uh, You can trade, chat, joke around, have fun. That's what it's all about. Gone through quite a few packs here already. I don't know what we're down to now. Still quite a few to go. It only takes one pack to get a breakthrough skill. Will we get it? Boom, boom, boom. And I'll give you guys a little heads up that tomorrow. We'll be posting my opening up. Uh, there'll be a uh, Lord of the Talcheon Galaxy. There'll be also a uh, bunch of loose packs of that as well. So stay tuned for that. Hope to pull some really good stuff out of there as well. Oh, cool. Go, go, draw. Another super rare. I'm going to do a recap in this video of all the foils that we uh, ended up pulling. Oh, sweet! Awesome, was that? That's our first secret rare. Nice, and it's a diamond dire wolf. Really cool. 
put that in the, I think I have one. Yeah, I do have one. So I'll put that in the trade binder. That'll be good. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more packs to go. This will be really good. I was still on the hunt here. I haven't given up. Now we pulled an ultra rare and, and an ultimate rare of that guy. That's cool. At least I think so. Yes, yes we have. There he is. Put them next to each other. They're all brothers. You know, one of my friends uh, said that the YCS, the convention center, is literally 15 minutes away from his house. Like, dang it. <laughs> I wish. Oh, cool, another secret rare. Nice, pull two now. That's yeah, like no secret rares, and it's like almost back to back of them. Another slacker magician. Oh, cool. And Firefish Dragon there, super rare. Our four packs of fate here. Let's hope. I'm pretty sure we'll pull something else in here. Oh, it's getting slim now. Only two more packs to pull that breakthrough skill. <laughs> If not, it's all right. I probably won't be using three anyway. I've just been using two. All right, last booster pack. Let's do this. All right, here's the rare. Ah, dang it, no breakthrough skill. Oh well. So, we'll move over to the the foils here. See how many we got. We got a one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight super rares. Uh, for the seekers, we pulled two. Uh, the ultra rares, one, two, three, four, and we pulled two ultimate rares. So it's at a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen foils that we pulled in. Uh, 48 loose booster packs here. Uh, don't forget to check me out during the week on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for the Lord of the Taupion Galaxy opening that I'll be doing. And Jobber, signing off.